Hey y'all, Lavender Wall here. If you're new here, I recommend you watch the other videos in this series before you watch this one. It's not really required. I'm sure you'll figure out what I'm doing. I just don't want you to get lost when I'm explaining things. I worked on previous episodes. So I've done a lot of work in the city, so I'll do a quick update of what I did before I go into the actual build. So first I expanded this suburban grid area a lot. I put down a lot of these houses from the American Suburban House Pack. I really like how these houses look paired with the manicured grass decal. So I made that cover like the whole property of them. This actually worked out a lot better than when I was using Popple Grass from the Popple Asphalt Plus mod. Uh, Popable stuff is kind of difficult to use relative to decals and just a grass decal is way easier than trying to line up a square correctly in these lots that often aren't squares. So I also built another elementary school, but I put it over in this nicer area. I literally just copied the school I built in the other side from one of the previous episodes, but then I added some more details to this one. So I realized that the other one I had was missing like some sports stuff. So I put down a couple of basketball and football fields. And I also decorated the fields a little bit just to make it seem more realistic than it was. Also next to this sort of large shopping center I built in the other village, I built this pretty big apartment complex. Complexes like these are pretty common in suburban areas, especially more coastal areas like this one because of how valuable the land would be. I looked at the layout of a few complexes in southeast Georgia, northeast Florida, and based mine off of this one in Jacksonville. Anyway, I was showing the build to some of my friends and they pointed out that I don't have a university in the city. You know, in real life, smaller cities like this probably wouldn't have like a university and those that do go to college in the city would probably go to school in a different city. The only problem with that is that the game doesn't really consider that there are other cities that exist in the world so it's necessary to have like university in your city if you want like the more developed jobs so now you don't have to make one of those big ones from the campus dlc but there's no really no fun in that i decided to make the school a trade school because the buildings in that set looked more like a small regional university that would exist in like a small city like this First, I laid down like a main entrance road. I had this idea to have this road lead to like a loop that was in front of like the main campus building because based on my personal experiences at my university and universities I've looked at on Google Maps, this is usually how campus roads work. I also laid out like first parking lot for the campus. Usually college campuses have like a lot of parking, so I wanted to make a couple of these throughout the campus. So for the actual parking lot, I used the parking lot roads mod from the workshop. In my opinion, these are probably the best parking lots on the workshop. I especially like doing this thing with them where I use one of the smaller ones and actually create a larger lot out of a series of small ones. I just really like this divided parking area effect that it gives off and I think it looks really nice. I also started laying out like the main green area of the campus. I had this idea to have these two paths come from like the main campus building and then go to the edges of the area and to have like this edge road on the back side of campus. So for that edge road I used like the same road that I used for the main road with the loop at the end because I thought that it was a good looking road. Something else that I thought would look nice in this green area was if there were pathways that like crossed over a bunch. So a lot of colleges and universities have like big lawn areas like this and that are like really central walking areas. So usually there are a bunch of paths that cross over each other and places like this. So what I did is in between the two main rows that I made, I had it like crisscross over. I just thought that would be kind of nice looking. Uh, once I finished that like crisscross stuff, I put down like a row of these generic trees from the generic tree pack that I've been using. I then started laying out like the general paths for the university. In most cases, universities are not grid patterns, so I tried to make my paths as organic as possible. What I normally do to achieve that is use like the terrain for a guideline. 
However, I made the map really flat because the train is super flat in real life in Southeast Georgia, so I really couldn't do that trick. I still think I was relatively successful at making organic, but I think when I laid out the actual buildings, it ended up just being this giant grid and you can really see that. But I think it's it's fine because like the rest of the city here is a grid too. So now that I had like all the paths laid out, I started placing down like the actual buildings. So what I really tried to do with the buildings is connect like all the doors and entrances with the paths that I had laid out. So you only have to have that one part connect to the road, like the thing with the blue arrow or whatever it is. But I found out when I was looking at these buildings is that a lot of them have doors like on the back or on the sides. At least at my school, all of the doors are connected to a path in some way, so I figured I'd try and do that here too. So I basically just used the Move It mod to clip the ends of the university paths into the door frame so that it looked like the path led straight into that door. So most of these doors are entirely aesthetic, so this kind of doesn't really have a purpose, but I thought it would just look kind of nice, so that's why I did it. The last thing I really did here was make this like, outdoor sports thing for the gymnasium that I placed down. So for this, I put down a bunch of this tennis court building I had lying around in my asset collection. I don't really know where it's from, so that's why there's no picture of it. Basically, every school has tennis courts because they're usually pretty cheap to maintain and build because it's basically just like clay and then paint. I also put down a couple of basketball courts because, again, most schools have these. It's not clay usually for the uh, pavement, but it's, it's like actual concrete, so that's still pretty cheap. One thing before the end of the video, I've started doing stuff in the Houston 2055 build series. I have like a lot of raw footage for about four or five episodes right now. So what I think I'm going to do is release an episode of that about every Saturday or something. Also, still have to finish up editing the rest of this series, the Grand Ride videos, and put those up like every Wednesday just so that I constantly have stuff for like a couple weeks, like every three days. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and watch the others in this series. Also, I have a Discord server, so if you're interested in that, the link to join is in the description.